everybody, it's Len. How are you doing? Before my Japan trip, I used to do weekly vlogs. I did them, well, every week, obviously, weekly vlogs. And when I came back, I just stopped. I wanted to continue, but the work that demanded the Japanica series was non-stop. So I focused all my energy and all my time on that. And I did shoot a few sequences, a few bits of footage here and there from November up till now. And I'm considering taking a vlogging back up, though slowly. Probably not weekly, definitely not daily. Just maybe here and there start getting back into the habit of carrying my camera with me and remembering to charge it up and, you know, just try to get back into it. So what you're about to see now is a... How many months has it been? Five? November, December. Yeah, five months worth of footage. It's not planned footage, so it's not properly editable and you'll see what I mean. It's just like pieces here and there, like flashes here and there. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go back into the past. Are you ready? We are just looking chocolate cake today for tomorrow for my grandmother's birthday. It's a gluten-free chocolate cake with a ganache, chocolate ganache. And yeah, I'm not a baker. I enjoy baking, but I mean, I mean, look at it. I don't have the right utensils. It's not utensil, it's utensil. I've always made that mistake. And uh, it's my first time doing anything gluten-free, so it turned out pretty flat <laughs> and weird looking. I mean, it is what it is, right? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up, put it in the fridge for tomorrow, and hopefully it will survive the trip there because yeah, I don't live very close. Bye. Yeah. I guess I missed Japan a little too much this morning because that's my breakfast. Miso soup and rice with a bit of miso poured on top of it and soy sauce. It's not proper Japanese rice, but it'll have to do. Yum. Itadakimasu. I wanted to show you because I'm doing my hair right now and I've got terrible eye bags today. I don't know if I overslept or if I'm undersleeping or if it's jet lag still. Uh, I'm still like have my sleep is still really weird. But yeah, I if you do that, God, these are these are not good. It looks like I've been crying. I was doing my hair and I wanted to show you how this part of my side shave is growing because it looks really funny. <laughs> Right now, I'm gonna pin it back and it almost, oh, so almost fit into my side ponytail here. I was like, oh, it's fitting in and then it just fell out. So I'm gonna pin it back. But yeah, side shaves are cool. I miss having one, but oh my goodness, growing them out is <sighs> almost not worth doing it. Almost. I'm gonna pin this back and I need to leave in, I don't know, about half an hour. So I'm gonna get moving, I gotta get a move on. I've been drinking a lot of tea, so I still gotta pay and get my stuff ready. I've got all these gifts that I brought my family back uh, from Japan, like chopsticks, and I'm just gonna have a big bag and people are just gonna put their hand in and take whatever they want. I think it's gonna be really cute. I have a few extra gifts like for my brother because he had his birthday while I was in Japan. Anyway, gonna go get ready, gonna finish off, pin back this this thing because it looks really weird <laughs> and uh, get all this, this stuff I have no clue how I'm gonna get all of this to the meeting point because my family doesn't live in the capital but my godmother does so I'm gonna meet her at her place and then we're gonna go drive to the party yeah is what I'm trying to say but I need to bring the suitcase, the cake, and all the gifts in a tram with me. 
to the meeting point. So yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be funny. Not for me. I don't know how I'm gonna juggle kick suitcase and be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna make you sick. Okay, see you in a minute, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna love it. I gotta get going. <laughs> it's Monday. It's like 7 a.m. and I'm off to the gym for the first time in like one month. <laughs> So it's gonna hurt. Anyway, I'm vlogging in Brussels. Early AM. So as I was saying, off to the gym. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to hold. Uh, these streets are really gross. Huge shock after clean old Japan. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys here. It's not interesting to see me walk. I don't have any makeup on. I'm cold. Streets are gross. People are staring. <laughs> Nothing new there after, after Japan except now they're just staring at me because I'm vlogging. Okay. See you later when I'm all sweaty and gross. Grosser than now. Just try turning on my camera without a battery. Look at how messy my desk is. We've got my kanji book, um, the keychains from my my set of keys that I have yet to put together, my aunt's uh, new CD, all these, my Japan book, my tea, all my kanji study things oh it's a mess and this is 11 which you might have seen from my insta feed yeah with a pear stain <laughs> i actually bit into a pear and went like girl are 30 second um, gesture poses so you have to exaggerate the movements and the goal is in 30 seconds to kind of be able to guess what the pose is so yeah <laughs> and I use colored pencils so it, it forces me not to think because I know I won't be able to erase it anyway so you just go for it uh, I s got really distracted for the one minute poses as you can see I haven't even finished most of them. You think to yourself when you go from a 30 second pose to one minute pose, oh I have twice as long and then that's usually when I start being distracted. got a new delivery today a new delivery <laughs> obviously a new delivery today so this little guy <laughs> is happy to get a box yeah but this is not the reason i'm turning on my camera for this random little clip i just wanted to show you guys this yeah mugs <laughs> i made i designed some mugs this is my first time designing any mugs so this is the result. I'm sure it could be better. I could have maybe managed my line arts maybe better or 
But yeah, this is my first time and I'm actually kind of not mad. <laughs> I could even go as far to say that I'm happy with the results. Um, coming back to my trip to Japan, as you can imagine, I don't have anything left. <laughs> Financially speaking and Christmas is coming up and I did not want to go buy some really random stuff like a keychain or something really cheap so I decided to design some mugs for my friends and family. Christmas is next week so it just just arrived. Yes. <laughs> I call this one Frozen Beast because it looks like they have little icicles. Got this bear with a Christmas hat, a tiger. I should have... I don't know why, but it turned out a little... Okay, I know I'm doing my usual style of rambling when I go to one, one thing to another. It turned out a little um, bluish, even though I inked it with black. Got the bunny, and it was supposed to be a mouse, but kind of looks like a field rat or some strange rodent in the end. A little tiny little Iku tree logo. Hang on, my cat is being dangerously close to the, all the other mugs. <laughs> hey. I wonder if I can find the design. Hang on. Hang on. Must be in here somewhere. Somewhere. It's like, keyword. There you go, guys. It looks better like this. This is the original design. See? It looks better than what it is on the mugs. I actually really like it. <laughs> So there you go. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna try and start vlogging again. in a hurry was a bad idea. I have a writer's meetup to go to Sunday morning, every other Sunday or sometimes every Sunday depending on my mood I go to this writer's meetup and I'm always running late. I always get up so early thinking I have time to do a thousand things and then I end up being in a complete hurry so yeah, great idea to start vlogging on a Sunday morning. Ooh, wow, that was fun. <laughs> when it's freezing cold, I have to keep it going. Now I'm already running late. I can't even give you a good angle because of how uh, late I am. My hair's still wet. It's cold. Got my stuff ready at least. Thing I have everything. Um, phone. Oh, I don't have my music. Okay, I need my music. I need my hat. And I need to go and the battery's dead anyway, so see you later. <laughs> super wobbly and I look like a friggin vampire oh my god this is so bad but this is the aftermath of a night of I'm not gonna do mod the air quotes a night of modeling it was modeling um, but I look <laughs> everything's gone I had like blue lips and now I look like I've just been like I don't have I haven't been getting enough oxygen and my makeup is everywhere they I don't do well with um, heavy concealer and that's obviously what they have so my skin is just like screaming for me to take everything off but the worst is my hair my hair I don't know if I can show you my hair is a sculpture <laughs> and I'm gonna have to take everything off and it's all crispy and filled with lac 
it's not lac in English, it's hairspray. So I'm gonna take these out one by one. And uh, you're not high enough, so I'm gonna try and figure out how to film this and we'll see how much time it's gonna take. And my hair is already extremely damaged from the bleaching that I did like a week and a half ago. And I've had heat, I have hairspray, I have teasing and back combing. It's, I hope my hair is still alive under there. So yeah, let's try and do this now. how to, to deal with this right now it's a friggin a bird's nest it's all dry and crispy and I mean look at it I have the flattest hair in the world and right now I actually have so much volume that is it's so crazy I don't even look like myself right now I don't feel like myself at least I know never to get a perm because even though it's not that bad, I just, it doesn't feel like me. Like, look at, look at this. Look at it. <laughs> anyway, like I said, camera battery's flashing any, anyway, and I'm tired, and I don't know how, remember how to talk. That's okay. Hey, look at the amount of hair I have. Um, I am tired. I'm going to get in my PJs right now. My face is like dying of exhaust, exhaustion. And uh, I'll see you next time whenever I vlog these. I don't even know how I'm going to edit these together. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I look like shit right now, but it's okay. My hair is oiled, which is why I slicked back. And I'm currently sketching. And I just got the news that my dog um, passed away. Sorry. <laughs> um... I had already said goodbye to her two weeks ago because she wasn't doing very well and she's almost 16 years old so she's she's old, she's an old girl and, and I think that's why it's so sad because she's been in our family for so long and when I when we got her I was still a kid and it's, it is kind of a hard right now to remember that uh, another time than this time where it's a struggle and it's hard and Remembering that I used to live in the countryside and um, well, I'm full on crying right now It's fine. She had a, a beautiful life and we got her when she was a puppy She she was abandoned and uh, we took her in. I just wanted to Say it out loud that she's gone and I'm sad and And it's hard I don't know if I'm gonna put this life but yeah, she's gone. Even though I already said bye to her, it's still hard. Hey. Ooh, I look a little tired. <laughs> It's Friday and I'm going to the dermatologist right now because I'm getting some of my milia removed and I wanted to show it before and after though now I'm realizing that you may not be able to see it 
Um, I've talked about my Amelia before. What is this? Hair? Jeez. <laughs> um, they're trapped little dead particles of skin because my skin doesn't exfoliate very well or badly, I don't really know. So they have little bumps here and there where uh, the skin has been trapped and it's not like a pimple, you can't squeeze it out, you need to do like a tiny cut and then get it out because it's like hard. And um, technically it's supposed to go away after like a while, it doesn't have like a long lifespan but for some reason on my skin it just stays and after a while I have like little I can't really show you, sometimes there I can, can kind of see one there because it's a big one I have little nests here and here and sometimes above my eye there's one right there you might be able to see I'm right in front of the window so this is like the best lighting I could find right now my skin isn't as it as blah, blah. right now my skin isn't at its best um, hormonal but I do want to sh do a before and after so Hopefully, maybe if I can try and f make it focus better. Yeah, there you go. This is my Melia. Very sexy. I know I've got a lot of dry skin. My skin type is dry. Oh, that's where I spoke about my skin. It's because I've done a skin routine thing. Yes, yeah, so I've dry, very dry, sensitive skin. And I'm Melia prone. So now I need to go get them removed. I think last time I did it must have been over a year ago. So... Yeah, it's gonna be fun. She probably won't get all of them, but if she gets like the really visible ones, like especially these two, I have some near the eye area which I can't, which are not very nice. So probably some of these, the one that I have here, and I think that is what she'll do. And I look all scabby for a few days, but yeah, hopefully that will be okay. Time to go. I'm a little nervous because I've never been to this one. Hopefully she's nice. And I'm back. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's very swollen. She even gave me a bruise. I don't know how she did that. She managed to get to bruise my skin. Oh, well, that one there too. And she stopped because she said she got all the big ones, but I just looked again and there are quite a lot of little ones there. So I was hoping she'd do more, but at the same time, it's so painful like I don't know if it's deeper than a tattoo I guess I should look it up because you have to go deep to go get them and you really feel like you're being like stabbed <laughs> either with a needle or for bigger ones I think she used like a blade like a small blade and yeah I had to come home using the subway or the metro and yeah I was like hiding in my scarf because it's not, you can see it's like all these little holes, especially on this side, this side is scary. And she pulled uh, at my skin, so now I've got like big, big baggy eyes. I look amazing! <laughs> Someone wants attention. Huh? Day two. It's not very good. <laughs> Sorry for the hair, it's kind of sticking up. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's still very holy. And I've got some more bruising. It almost looks like I have a, a kind of a black eye. Kind of. You can't really see it in this light. And maybe I don't, but these ones have started bruising a little bit. Which means I'm swollen here. This one is still bruised. Kind of a big one. And uh, that one started bruising also. It looks really bad. I want to. I need to go buy some food, and I don't want to go outside like this. It's really annoying. It's the first time I have bruising, so is that good or is that like bad? I don't know, but yeah. Day two, day five. I just wanted to show you where my milia was at because it's taking a long time to heal. But it is a lot better, as you can see. So today's Tuesday. I'm editing my big monster vlog from everything I've had, um, from everything I filmed from November, which is when I come back from Japan, to now. So it's a lot of footage, and I just wanted to finish up. Uh, as you can see, this has gone completely 
completely yellow i've got this bruising here i've got some bruising there i've got a lot of bruising up here so i'm not really convinced by that doctor and i feel like looking at it closer there's a lot of times where i can see she put like the needle in or made her incision and the milia is still inside so that really sucks i was not happy about that so yeah um i still look really bad especially with my bruise I would be healed by now but yeah I'm indoors anyway it's not very nice weather and I'm editing which is why I have that mark for my glasses but now I'm gonna go put my actual face on and look a little more presentable <laughs> and try to hide these marks because I need to go out yeah okay so yeah